occasionally Karen will say something like, I didn't know the opening or something. She, actually, she doesn't say that, but we'll pretend she does because it helps my story. Okay. And then when I play online, I move my queen every move. Then I move my king every move. And then I play h4, h5. And I'm just kidding. And then I win because I don't care about the opening. Okay. This game reminds you of how I play when I'm playing like 10 second chess, you know, where all my moves are absurd. That's, that's what happened in this game. There's no theory. There's just craziness. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Crazy. This is the craziest thing you've ever seen. Okay. Some would say it's propaganda. Yeah. We did the top tough game already. Yeah. Okay. I so your Nazi joke. D4. Okay. What move did white play here? What's the craziest move you can think of? Um, a movie you would never play. I don't know. I don't want to have to think of crazy moves. But that's what she played. I it's one of my sayings. That'll help. F3? No, never play F3. <laughs> By the way, F3 is a very... That's a book move that happens all the time. Oh, it is? Yeah. Hey, go ahead. I don't never know. Pl uh, put it in H. Oh, okay. H4. Okay, so now Talia played the Benko Gambit delayed because White played H4. So now it's a Benko Gambit with H4. Okay, and then in this position, White hasn't put it in H enough. So H5. Then G4. This is like how I play one minute chess. Like, I'm just kidding. Okay, the engine likes black. Then Bishop H6. So white just sacks all of her king side pawns to get an attack on the black king. The engine prefers black, but it's very messy. Okay, it's not Ronaldo at all. Not at all. Okay, now black played knight takes g4 attacking the rook. Engine agrees. And the engine says this is all zeros, equal position. h5 is one of the all zero moves. And she plays bishop h3. That's a good move. Now in this position, the engine wants her to play f5, defending her knight again. She played knight f6, Talia did. Queen d2. The queen wants to come in here, and the knight comes in here, and so forth. King g7 is forced. Long castle. And the engine says this is all zeros. How is, how is it all zeros? How does the engine know this is equal? Okay, d6, good move. Knight g5. Now Talia played the engine move here, a move nobody would ever consider. But she was my student for two years. And this is the kind of move we talked about during our lessons. This is also one of my sayings. It's setting up for the next game. Well, go ahead. I don't, I don't... Bishop c8. That's the best move. The engine, yeah, engine says bishop c8 x clam. Now it says it's equal again. Okay, rook g1. So practically speaking, without looking at an engine, you would want to have white because white obviously is attacking the black king. It's not clear what black's doing. Okay, and what's funny is black played a Benko gambit style, but black's up a pawn. So that's also funny. Okay. Knight a6. F4. Engine likes f4. Bishop h3. Rook h3. Queen c8. Engine still says it's equal. e4. c4. It likes that move. e5. It still says it's equal. d, e, f, e. And in this position, black played the losing move. If you guessed every legal move, you wouldn't guess what the best move for black is. Even if you guessed every legal move. So no human would ever play this move. The best move? The best move. For black. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want me to try to guess? Yeah, guess the best move for black. I need to look at it for a second. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. And when you play these wild and crazy kinds of positions, 
it's hard to find the engine moves. So typically, whoever actually is the better player will win the game. So we're not like risking a draw. Like, oh no, my opponent played really solid and drew. Nope. Somebody's going to win, usually whoever the better player is, and Nazi's a better player. So, truth hurts. Darn, I'm not sure. I'm going to give up. Giving up is correct. God Banana using an engine solved it. Also Hamish. Knight B4. Ignoring your knight hanging. Yeah. Yeah, you got you to get your knight in there and attack. And then after he takes the knight, you take back with a pawn. And you have these four pawns in front of your king. Okay, she played knight G4, losing immediately. And here, white has a brilliant winning move, which she did not play. Instead, she played a move where it's equal. The brilliant winning move, which like Tatev would have played, is Rook takes H5. Okay, and the reason it wins, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Is after takes, if you take, then you sack your knight. As long as you sack all your pieces, you win. Okay, then if you take it, then queen G5 check, and my queen and rook mate you. It says mate in three. Like if you go here, I go check, and then check mate. Okay, so instead of rook h5 winning, she played knight ce4, and now it's equal again. And now black has to throw a monkey wrench into the works. Black has to play c3. And then if white didn't win the game, white would be PO'd. Yeah. So c3 is, okay, also knight c5 is equal, it says. She played queen f5, getting her queen over there. Knight g3 exclam. And here, black blundered. Black made an elementary blunder. So this is the worst move, like, by far of the game. The obvious move is queen takes e5. Okay, and now white wins with a knight sacrifice. But it's very complicated, but white's winning. But she played a blunder, queen d3, winding up her queen with the rook. Oh, yeah. I got two words for you. And the first word's time. And the second word's trouble. Yeah. Had to be time trouble. Knight takes h5 check. Rook takes queen. And now she plays the same winning tactic as before. Right. Except she's a queen up. So that's <laughs> advantage. And Talia resigned because it's mate in two. Well, so, actually, it's mate in three because you can play knight h6 and get mated this So way. is Nazi, um, she retired for a while. Is she back playing regularly? She just plays in the U.S. women's. Just the U.S. women's. Yeah, that's all. Okay, yeah. I thought she was in some other tournament. I saw her give a simul at one of those tournaments I go to where, like, you know, I do work at the tournament. Oh, the Scholastic? Yeah, she was at one, like, maybe, you know. Maybe that's what I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah. Can you do the knight before line again? No, it's too strong. I like that. Throw a, da a monkey Danny wrench. Knight b4. E takes f6. E takes f6. Now, after rook takes h5, which is the engine move, black has to play knight d3 check. And then black has to take this. And this is a draw. Rook h8, draw. What a crazy game. Now, what's funny about this is Nazi is known as the opposite. She plays boring and gets a slight advantage, then a clear advantage, then wins. So that wasn't Nazi-like at all. But she's having a bad tournament, so she decided to have a little fun. Play it crazy and you know, have a it fun game. Out. Have a fun game. Yeah. Did, and it wasn't uh, terrible. Did Talia come in last? That's correct. Oh. I like Talia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Tough game. <laughs>